say goodbye to basic authentication and exchange online. For many years, Office 365 apps have utilized basic authentication. This method sends a username and password with each request, and these credentials also are regularly saved or stored on the client device. Basic authentication makes it less complicated for attackers to seize your credentials, especially if the credentials aren't protected via TLS, which will increase the threat of these stolen credentials being reused in other services. Furthermore, the enforcement of multi-factor authentication MFA, isn't easy or in a few cases, viable while basic authentication stays enabled. Basic authentication is an old enterprise standard. Microsoft is disposing of the ability to use basic authentication in Exchange Online for Exchange Active Sync, POP, IMAP, Remote PowerShell, Exchange Web Services, EWS, Offline Address Book, OAB, Outlook for Windows, and Mac. Microsoft is also disabling SMTP auth in all tenants if it has not been configured. This issue requires that all clients change from apps that use simple authentication to apps that use modern authentication. Enabling and implementing multi-factor authentication MFA, is likewise easier with modern authentication. New Microsoft 365 tenants have been recently created with basic authentication disabled. Starting October 1, 2022, Microsoft will start disabling basic authentication for Outlook, EWS, RPS, POP, IMAP, and Ease protocols in Exchange Online. SMTP auth can also be disabled if it isn't being used. Link to Microsoft article in description.